Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, one of the teams is here. All right, this is gonna be fun, guys. This is an important meeting. Abu High Squad, I can't wait to take you along. Here they are. Hi, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Guys, I'd like you to meet our new friends. I mean, not new friends, years. Like over, sorry guys. New friends to you, Mabu High Squad, but old friends to us. This here is Dawn. Hi. And Kathy. Hi. The great Kathy C. King. Okay. Guys, Kathy is the one who is going to be collaborating with RJ for our interior design. We have been um, shopping with Dawn and Kathy for months now. Yeah, for the past few months and She's got some amazing, amazing ideas for the house. Can't wait to show you guys. You guys might recognize Kathy and Don from the yacht party that RJ threw for me. They decorated the entire boat. It was amazing. By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. We are here at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Yes, our future home, um, which is coming together. Today is a very, very special day because we're meeting with a few teams. First of all, we're meeting with um, our interior designer, Kathy there and her husband Don, who's into contracting. Our architect is here. Uh, we're finalizing plans for our aviary and various other things. And also, the company that is installing our solar system, our solar pa our solar system. Guys, we are installing an entire solar system and galaxy in our home. Okay, no, sorry. The company that is installing our solar panels for the home uh, is here. So, um, in case you're new, this home is uh, designed designed to be sustainable, eco-friendly, and pretty high-tech. Um, it will also be a smart home so that, you know, we leave less of an ecological footprint. Uh, so a lot of the power of this home will be provided by solar energy. Yes, because as you know, electricity from like city power, most of that guys comes from burning of fossil fuels, which is not good, which is why, you know, during Earth Day or Earth Hour, you're supposed to shut off your lights for an hour right at eight to nine in the night it's really just to i guess sort of promote the advocacy of using less electricity from your from city plants so our hope for this place is to rely mostly at least the majority of our electricity um on solar energy yes so guys today's a huge day huge day all right so kathy is now talking to her team as to well to start taking measurements um what's interesting is that when working with an interior designer right they have an eye they have this really good eye for colors texture design very artistic um and they work hand in hand with our architect who is more about structure and like the the science the engineering like the structural engineering that sort of aspect of design um, and so you have to have both uh, you know you have the aesthetics and the artistic side and then you have architect Dennis who is more of the structure side working hand in hand when decorating or well, interior designing your home it's really technical RJ and I are really surprised so right now it's a major problem solving like conundrum the space is quite large but that's not the issue the issue is how we're going to incorporate a couch in this area because because um, we initially first saw an L-shaped couch. However, there are some challenges because this is a sliding door and there's gonna be decking here, which will be like an outdoor area of our living room, like an extension, an outdoor extension of our living room. This glass is not a sliding door, but this is. So like, we don't wanna put part of the L-shaped couch like in front of the door because people need to come in and out. So we're just trying to like figure out now. We'll think of another configuration of couch. Who knows? <laughs> Guys, the team for our solar panels is here. They just went around and checked all the specs so hi guys <laughs> thank you for coming yes wow so apparently there's gonna be a lot of panels guys over 38 panels will be on our roof they have to also add like a, a generator like on the side of the property this is gonna be amazing all right guys here working now with Kathy and architect Dennis and Don uh, looking over the perspectives as to 
how the living room will be laid out. Um, also, we'll be looking at dining room area. They've already spray painted certain areas where things will go. You guys will see what awesome thing we have planned for this wall. You guys will trip out. It, and as a clue, it has something to do with RJ's tablescaping. And also kitchen and some of the and the other bathrooms upstairs as well we'll be going over uh, today with architect because like I said there's like certain changes that need to be made edits um, if you will uh, in order to accommodate some of the um, interior decor elements that Kathy foresaw in our home now we can't show you the concepts yet like what we had in mind for decor but guys trust me it's super cool and um, I can tell you that for the design of this home we're going for modern Asian um, the entire home is uh, well the outside is Bali themed it's Bali inspired um, but the home will be Southeast Asian uh, modern slash luxe kind of peg I know if you're not interior decor people you might not be able to visualize what that looks like because trust me when I was like I don't know what we want Kathy's really good at assessing our personalities and lifestyles and then like doing her magic making the place look really cool okay gotta get back to the meeting sorry guys I'm trying to include you on everything alrighty so they're now measuring out where the dining table will be <laughs> you have the RJ look at how big RJ's dining table is we've already picked out his table and it's been measured out RJ how many people will it fit uh, 14 14 guests will be able to sit at this table and what's cool is the head of the table will have two chairs on either side so RJ and I can sit together on the head and our guests can all be here we can have my mom and my dad on the other side I don't know or RJ's mom and RJ's dad on the other side but uh, yeah so they're marking out the floor plan now of like Yay. the furniture you happy there yeah. RJ's really proud of the dining room yeah. this here is tentatively where the couch will go I guess it's gonna be an L-shaped couch. Yes. I for sure will be hopping over the couch to go outside. That's because I'm quite lazy. I'll just hop. Man, guys, this meeting is intense. <laughs> I mean, it's a collaboration, right? So when there's a collaboration, sometimes there are conflicting opinions. One party might say this is possible. The other might say, no, it's not possible because of this and this and this. And then we eventually have to come to like a compromise or a final decision. Um, and it's very detailed. Like, look, architect is busting out the blueprints. It's so crazy. And it's actually, it's quite beautiful to me to see like professional, like people of certain expertise coming together putting their minds together and ideas together and collabing to create something that is truly well in this case pretty novel like we'll be doing things and trying things that personally I've never seen in a house yet and um, I look forward to you guys seeing what we come up with as well all right we're going upstairs now so they've marked the boundaries of the bed in our side tables and it looks about right. We have a king. We, we bought a king, but like seeing them mark it off It looks smaller than what we remember at the store, but they've double checked the measurements and yeah, this is this is it It's correct guys. It, it seems smaller. I'm trying to imagine <laughs> The reason why it feels smaller is because normally it's this high Okay, so when it's higher up, it feels bigger. Okay, okay. No, I believe you. Because math does not lie. Math does not lie. It's such an optical illusion. So guys, here's the ant room, right? You guys know the ant room. I've vlogged it many times. It's also our pet room, so all exotic pets and stuff will be here in tanks. There's a second floor also to the pet room. Um, and I have this cool workstation. Ooh, I'm so excited. Right here. And we recently bought our sink, which is currently downstairs. Ooh, I can't wait to show it to you. And that'll, it'll go there. It's, it's very strange that I'm getting excited over like furniture, but it's hard to explain. It's just really exciting and a dream come true. OMG guys, the sink has arrived. <gasps> yes! Oh, so excited guys. Guys, check it out, check it out. OMG! Woo. Guys, look at it. It is a massive sink and it's stainless steel. See that? It's a little wet right now, but it will fit 
in there. So I'll be using this sink to wash smaller tanks, possibly like hardscape, like rocks, driftwood, wash my hands after handling the pets, all of that, see? Ooh! Oh, it looks so great! What do you guys think, Mabu High Squad? All of you who have like exotic pets, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We need a sink. It just really helps. There's the hose or the faucet that we chose. It detaches so we can turn into a hose. It even comes with a soap dispenser, see? Which will go right there. No, no. It even comes with this, which is for drying like my tools and that kind of thing, test tubes. Let me put that there. We're just gonna show you what they've drawn, but we're not gonna tell you what's going in those spaces. Although I've already covered what is going in certain places, like obviously jacuzzi's there, but oh, can't wait for you guys to see the final outcome. RJ doesn't wanna show you guys yet because I mean, there's no surprise factor if you guys already know, right? And I think you guys will love what's happening here. Ooh. There's an arrow and I can't tell you what it's about yet, although I want to. All right, Kathy, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dawn. Can't wait, can't wait. We'll see Kathy again on our next visit. Bye. OMG, guys, a special guest is here. This is huge. Mambu High Squad, check out who's here at the Mambu High Squad farmhouse, who is actually going to be living here with us. <gasps> yeah,